Hello, friends, and welcome to Let's Play P.E. Noir. I'm your host, Magic Man Mo. Tuesday, 9 a.m. Another drab morning at Sunnyside Elementary. I've lost my mouse. <laughs> Where'd my mouse go? It's gone. My veins course with drinky drink. Yet even its kid-tested, mother-approved flavor sat like ash in my mouth. The daily responsibilities of hall monitor racked my mind, my sugary vices unable to fill the hole in my heart. Still, the empty cafeteria provided me quiet solace far away from the troubled halls. Little did I know trouble would find me, just as I began to savor my rare moment of peace. Uh, oh god, the, the classic, is this gonna be, is this a Mia or a Maya situation? I'll, I'm gonna go with Mia. Uh, it's me and speaking. M rhubarb! I knew I'd find you in the cafeteria. Am I rhubarb? I don't know. Uh, dot dot dot. I don't need other hall monitors drinking their worries away when I have enough on my plate as it is. Why aren't you out doing the rounds? Just taking a break, Chief. Yeah, right. Just taking a break. We both know you've been sitting there with a dry juice box for at least half an hour. If you don't shape up, I will personally petition. Petition have you to have you back in PE with the rest of the nobodies. Okay, okay. Whatever. The principal wanted to see you in the main office. A new case, probably. Just head down the hall. And if it's not too much to ask, maybe do your job. All right, this is Mia. I'm I'm rhubarb. I got oh got an in inventory hall badge. This highlights my place in the school hierarchy and my subservience to the principal. The red whistle stops perps right in their tracks and hurts my ears. All in one tool. Can I use it? Cool. Can I use it on Mia? <laughs> that didn't work. I've got some blank papers. It looks like blank paper, but if I give it a closer look, it's actually two sheets of blank paper. Absolutely riveting. I like it. Gelatin? Sure, that's what, that's what that is, is a plate of jelly. If you poke it, the jelly jiggles. Dance, Jelly, dance! <laughs> You're the last good thing in this world. I like this already. I'm enjoying this. Uh, we've got a quarter. A quarter. I'll pick that up. There's a red splatter stain, probably from my juice box. Old ketchup from yesterday's food fight. Sometimes I forget that even a frequent haunt like the cafeteria is sadly susceptible to the rowdiness of the halls. Indeed. There's a vent over here that I feel like might be imp important. Milk ad? Big Dairy once again rears its ugly mug to push its disgusting product. This one, at least, is more tasteful. The last one was a hyper-realistic udder installation. It was made with real udder. Gross. <laughs> but they have just a pair of udders on the wall? Is there anything more to say to Mia? Wasting more time? Not surprised. Pull up a chair, why don't you? Oh, I'm not wasting any time. I'm getting my... I'm a detective. I'm an elementary school hall monitor detective, and I'm gonna do some detective work. I'm gonna go looking around at things. Just another cheap scheme concocted by the big wigs up top. The food pyramid. It's called like the My Pyramid now, right? I grew up with food pyramid. Mystery Mac. It's supposed to be macaroni and hot dogs, but it's liquid now. They had to switch to a stainless steel pot after the previous container eroded away. It melts through almost everything. Really makes you wonder what the hot dogs are made of. Lunch flavored food? What is lunch flavored? The sheeple here may be content with the lukewarm slop they make here, but I refuse to be a part of this disgusting system. I bring home lunch instead. I, I always ate in the cafeteria. I always had whatever, whatever was going on. Lunch flavored food. Okay, I guess it's all the same. This looks like a garden. That's not food. That's like a f <laughs> that's grass, a, f a couple flowers, and lilies or something. There's a door to the kitchen. To the kitchen! To the. I have no interest in relearning where chicken comes from. My experience working that case still haunts me. Oh, oh no. We got, we got some backstory with chick. Oh, hey there. Hey, Bimble. I'm so, so nervous. I've got a huge P.E. to the test today. A hundred squats and downward dogs back to back. I wouldn't suppose you've got anything for me to chew on to get the edge off. 
To get the edge off? Are you asking for drugs, kid? Kid, you want some kid drugs? Is that what's happening right now? To the blacktop? I don't think I can go to the blacktop. That is not available to me as of... Yeah, that's the cafeteria where I just came from. To the bathroom? Ooh. I'm collecting all these coins. Trash bed. Someone threw out a perfectly good frog pencil. The rich yuppies from Annex C always throw expensive stuff away to tease the other students. Yeah, sure, but how about the coin? I'm trying to get this. There's clearly... Come on. There's clearly a coin in there, though. I've got, like, three of them so far. I've got the pencil. A fancy amphibian-themed pencil. There's clearly also a coin there. There's a quarter right there. Maybe that. Maybe that's not a quarter. Maybe that is just a piece of trash. You've confounded me this time, game. Cracked mirror. My hollow, sunken eyes are barely visible under my bucket hat. Being a hall monitor has changed me. It's been a rough semester. Bah! It's made of porcelain. Gross. Bathroom stall. An occupied stall. Knock, knock. Who's inside? That's weird. I thought this toilet was broken. Is there someone in there? No. Or is that is that someone is that someone talking to me, telling me that it's occupied? Interesting. Not entirely sure. I think we need to break our way in. We need to somehow get inside that occupied stall. I don't think it's occupied. I think it's uh, I think it's uh, a treasure chest. I think there's things to be had. Book propaganda. They try to tell us reading is fun, but we've all read a book before. We already know what it's like. The lies they teach us at this school. The lies. It's securely shut, but the lock is cheap. We got Melvin's locker here. I might need to be able to break into it. I'd open them, but they're locked. That's why they're called lockers. Because you lock them. This is true. I think we need to get into Melvin's specifically, however. Math or death? This is true. That's, that's how I grew up, too. That's how I learned math. It was that or die. So, I mean, you know, if you didn't get, if you didn't get your numbers right, the teacher would come around with this, like, cudgel and just bludgeon you to death it was pretty brutal there's a recorder here mia probably left this here while working on another case it's missing a battery and a cassette thank goodness we shouldn't be freaking recording what's going on in these classrooms some personal confidential things happen in classrooms kids say the wildest things and so do teachers honestly Math law where once i found peace and understanding in the arbitrary rigid rules of math I now feel nothing. Ticking numbers will never represent the true nature of our tangible reality. Humans are messy, sick beings. I take no pleasure in the false refuge of arithmetic. One plus three times two equals seven. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta remember your PEMDAS or whatever it's called. You the three times the two first, and then you add the one. Unless you got parentheses. Oh yeah, it says PEMDAS right there. <laughs> I, didn't even, I didn't finish reading it yet. Parentheses, exponents. Multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. You gotta do it in that order. If you don't do it in that order, you're doing it wrong. Math class got much more exciting after that college prep cult took over the school board. Cult? You said cult? Oh, the bottom drawer is locked. What's this about a cult? I want in. I want a part. I want to be a part of your prep school cult. What else we got? What else is in the hallways? Oop, quarter. Water fountain. I remember water fondly, but now all I crave are drinky drink juice boxes. Uh, we got a lab and a principal's office. Ooh. Mr. Principal, I didn't expect you to be shrouded in mystery and shadow. Hall monitor rhubarb, so glad you could join me. I have an issue that needs resolving. Melvin has been getting out of PE for the eighth school day straight. While the use of sick notes is not uncommon, the frequency and reasons are suspicious. The parents make contributions to our school, so unfortunately, my hands are tied in this matter. However, a fellow student is in a much healthier position to bring justice to this felon. Find proof of forgery, and I can get this low life off the halls and back in detention. Your first suspect is CC, who was caught for giving parental signatures five months ago. CC served time in detention before, but if they've fallen back in crime, we can get two birds with one stone. If uh, you can't miss CC, front of the school, yellow umbrella. And, hall monitor rhubarb, please 
to be discreet. It would be a pity if you lost hall monitor responsibilities. Oh my god, we've got quests? Talk to CC outside. All right, I'm doing my job. I'm working on it. We gotta go get Melvin into PE, basically. CRISPR for kids. I can't believe they still have this poster up after someone DIY crippered their dog's puppies to grow big and red. The, yeah, uh, what was his name? Clifford? Clifford the big red dog? The worst part was when the school hired an evangelical speaker to tell us about the sanctity of human purity. I don't think, uh, I don't think elementary school kids should be in charge of CRISPR. <laughs> Got an old sock, smells absolutely foul, like someone used it outside as a shoe. Can I put it? Yeah, can I put it in my pocket? It's in my pocket. I got it. A shoe. Smells terrible. Only an idiot would go around picking these up everywhere. Call me an idiot. A standard hall monitor tool. Needs a battery and a cassette. Got some things over here. That's a quarter. Dope. Got a chart. The semester has just started, so no one is ranked for best lab accidents. Last year, Cece won for synthesizing a dog that could only consume homework. No, oh, no. How much homework do I need to feed a dog for to sustain life? I don't actually see anything else going on in here at the moment. Okay, let's get out of here. We've got more halls to monitor. What is my locker? Why does it have an X and gunk coming out of it? My locker. It smells of mustard. Another prank by the hallway dissidents. I enter my combination, holding my jacket over my lock. You can never be too careful in these halls. A pencil. Someone took all my stuff. At least they left me a pencil. Such is life. Such is how things go. Hey, sport. Kimmy. Fantastic. Another yellow jacket here to grill me. Spare me. The other hall monitor already has an eye on me. If you actually care about the students here, maybe you'd help me find my sports ball. Melvin kicked it off the blacktop when I suggested a game. And now I can't find it. Not very fun to play with. If I have time, I'll get you your sports ball. You better make time. Sunnyside relies on its sports ball lead. It's only it's one of the only things we sorry folk have to look forward to these days. Alright, if I find your sports ball, I'll bring it. Nurse's office. Nurse Raj can't cure my edgy nihilistic worldview. Those boo-boos are on the inside. <laughs> I adore this game so far. I'm just saying. I'm putting it out there. Oh, there's Cece. Couldn't miss her by her jacket. I assume Annex A is where we came from, right? Yeah, just, just checking. Is there a quarter around here? I bet there is. I don't see it right now. Oh, monitor. If you're here about Melvin, I can assure you I have nothing to do with it. I've put that life behind me. I swear it. That voice is going to be too similar to mine. I don't believe you. It doesn't matter. I just need a person to put into attention. I believe you, but you have to help me. All right. Fine. Let's go with that one. Let's get her on my side. A chance to prove it is all I need. Melvin is either making the sick notes or has found another forger. If you can get the old sick notes from the coach, Hypatia, you'll find them past the cafeteria on the black top. Alright. We've talked to CC. Now we gotta get the old sick notes for CC. Alright. There's another forger in town. We gotta locate who they are. Hey there! Hey, Tatum. Go away! I'm busy crying! Go harass other people, Yellow Jacket! Are you okay? My unhappy demeanor contrasts strongly with the imagery that Sunnyside seeks to evoke. Look at this sun, so happy, cool, and carefree. I'm simply highlighting the stark contrast between the unhappy students and the principal's public image. Can I help you? It would be a great help if I had something that better represented the squalid halls. My face alone doesn't seem to be cutting it for the visiting parents. All right, so we need something that highlights how sad and depressing this place actually is. I'm going to grab this quarter, though. Where do I go from here? I need to find something sad 
Do I have- I got a sock for you. <laughs> no, you don't want my sock. You don't want to put a sock on the poster? No, that's not going to do it. Can I go to Annex B or C or something? Oh, man, I think I might need to go all the way back down the hallway. Can I? Oh, here we go. I can go this way now. I, maybe I always could, and I just flat out didn't see the button. Hey, Coach Hypatia. And I've also got Zane here. I got anything else I can look at? Odd markings. Obviously, this is a sick, twisted form of Foursquare. Gives me chills just to think about what transpires in P.E. No, it's Hopscotch. I've never played Hopscotch before. Hey, Coach Hypatia. Come to flaunt your P.E. deficient life hall monitor. You may be proud of your job, but I feel nothing but pity. One day, you're going to look in the mirror, look at your limp, sad muscles, and wonder where you went wrong. God, that feels so true. That feels so true. I need access to Melvin's sick notes. Finally decided to nail that coward? It's about time. I have the sick notes, but they're locked in a drawer. The key fell out of my pocket while I was in the cafeteria. I would have picked it up, but I can just pry open the drawer with my hands if need be. Now, that didn't sound like an excuse at all. You can pry the drawer to my math room if you find the key I dropped in the cafeteria. Also, remember to hydrate. All right. Hey, Zane. <laughs> hey, Rupert! Have you seen my cool new toy? I'm a literal child, so I think bringing valuables to school is a good idea. <laughs> it's an outlaw laser robo geek. My parents are rich and got it for me. I'm so excited. I lost not only my shoes, but also a sock. My parents' wealth has severely damaged my faculty for managing personal belongings. Heck! <laughs> I've got your sock. You want it? Whoa! My sock! Perfect timing. My foot is caked with mud and grass. Just give me a few minutes to slip this on. You don't need, you don't need a few minutes to put a sock on. It takes longer when my mom isn't here to help me. All right. Oh, Outlaw Laser RBGK. Maybe I can pull the batteries from this toy for my audio recorder. Well, I would pull them if I could get this childproof packaging open. Uh, do I? I don't have, like, scissors or something. The hottest toy for children and psychiatrists. Batteries are included, but the packaging is tough. Can I stab it with my pencil? It's a brand new wooden pencil. Maybe even the pen. I don't know. It was, it was a thought. What else we got going on? Oh, sports ball! Shiny sports ball! Oh, why is it shiny? An official sports ball league sports ball. And a quarter. I wonder how many quarters there are. I've already got like three dollars in quarters. I'm rich! I'm like loaded! I don't know what grade I'm in, but it's elementary school. So for like a first, second, third, fourth grader or whatever. Fifth grader? I don't know. It's a lot of money. What am I gonna do with three dollars? I don't know. I don't yet know. Let's get the old sick notes. We need to go to the cafeteria and see if we can locate. Maybe I do have an interest in going in the kitchen. Rhubarb? Maybe I do have an interest. Where do you think that key's at? It's got to be down there. It's got to be down here. Brass key. There's a small brass key under the grate. This must be the key to Coach Hypatia's drawer in the math room. Oh. Oh, I got it. Oh, okay. I thought I was going to have to pry open? I thought I was gonna have to pry it open, but no, we could just reach our skinny little no-muscle arm in into it and grab it. The brass key slides in easily, revealing a stuffed drawer. There's a bunch of papers. A large portion of the top stack are all sick notes from Melvin. I can bring these back to Cece. Maybe I can get some perspective on this low life. Alright, let's do that. Cece, I got some notes for you to look at. Oh, I've also got that sports ball, actually. Melvin's old sick note. CC can take a closer look. Let's give that sports ball to you, Kimmy. Wow, you actually got it! I saved this just for you. It's my new mixtape. People didn't really respond to the disco I put on it last time. So now it's 100% Eurobeat. Enjoy. You're gonna love it. Now it's time for me to prepare for the sports ball tourney after class. I forget what voice I gave her. That was probably a little bit different. Forgive me. Can I combine these things? It's got terrible music on it, but I can tape over it easily. Oh, I was trying to put it in the wrong thing. Cassette tape recorder? I might need the batteries first. I don't have skizzers. All right, CC. I got some old sick notes for you. These are really strange. Each signature is exactly the same, but they're written out. Melvin probably has something to synthesize similar signatures over and over. 
Get whatever Melvin is using, and you'll be able to squeeze a confession out. Try checking the locker next to the math room. That one should belong to Melvin. You also need a working recorder to link the evidence to Melvin once you get him talking. I've done all I can for you, Hall Monitor. The rest is up to you. Oh my, okay. Um, I've got stuff, I've got stuff here. Obtain a working recorder. I need batteries for that. Discover Melvin's forgery, forgery tool. I need into his locker for that and find out where Melvin is. Well, I know where Melvin is. He's right, oh, that's Gilbert. Gilbert, you weren't here before, right? Am I crazy? Where did you come from? If you're looking for that PE Dodger, I know exactly where Melvin's hiding, but it's going to cost you eight quarters. Don't get angry, I know how valuable information is for your operation. I've got eight quarters. I, I'm kind of, oh, kind of loath to give them up though, because I just talked to you again. Interested in finding Melvin now? You know my price, eight quarters. Uh, is there a way for me to find Melvin without doing this? I mean, I don't know what else I'm doing with the quarter. Sure, I got it right here. Great! I'm so glad we could help each other out. Um... Uh, Melvin is in this Attic's bathroom. First stop. Okay. How do I get into there, though? I know where the bathroom is, but how do I... Oh, oh Bimbo! Bimbo is the one... Uh, I, I was thinking Bimbo was Melvin. That was my fault. I'm so nervous. I've got a huge pee to test today. I, uh, a hundred squats. I wouldn't suppose you've got something for me to chew on to get the edge off. Oh, yeah, I'm supposed to get you, like, bubble gum or something. I got a whistle. No. A pen? I didn't really click the pen. There we go. Try that again. A pencil? This is perfect to chew on. Yeah, I'm, since I'm so nice, I'll give you the pencil back to you. I have a modern symbol of squalor for the U.S. education sy system. A, a chewed pencil. What am I going to do with a chewed pencil? Why do I want it chewed? I know Melvin is in here, but I need more evidence before I start grilling this criminal. That's true. I do. I need to get into his locker. How do I get into your locker? Do I have a lock pick? Can I use the chewed pencil on the... Oh, man. Instead of the pencil, should I have had you chew on the... This? Did you chew on the packaging to get the packaging open? Can I go get, um, can I get you to maybe open this for me? Crap. I'm not sure what I'm, what am I supposed to do with a chewed pencil? These woods are spooky. I'm scared of the woods. Is there anything in them? Is there, is there a mysterious animal? A wolf that can eat my package open for me? Can I, I've got a pencil and a pen. Is there something I'm supposed to be writing? Just a little further up. I forget. I forget what I've done for everyone's voice. I'll be honest with you. Remember to hydrate. I don't think I need any hydration right now. Oh, Chefy, where'd you come from? Ooh, hey, hard monitor. Some kid kicked in the stove, so I got a hammer to bang out the dent. But when I got back from the hardware store, the dent had popped itself out. Life is nice like that. Sometimes I do enjoy the nice things that happen every now and then, no matter how small. Anyway, here's the hammer. I don't need it anymore. I've got a hammer. Will that help me get a package open? Maybe I can use the back end like a crowbar to like get access to something. You've got a whistle. Yeah, I'm definitely wasting more time. Dance, <laughs> dance, gelatin, dance. Can I smash it? I've got blank paper. Do I need to write something on these? I might need to. I'll have to remember that I do have papers there. I've got some papers that I might be able to write on. I got a hammer. I swing hard down on the lock. It shatters along with Melvin's right to privacy. What's he got? Signature template. This is Melvin's method of forgery. One step closer to our confrontation. I need to get my recorder working though. I still don't have batteries out of it. How do I open this darn, how do I open this darn thing? How do I, does anyone have skizzers or something? Anything, hello, I need help. Can you open, can you open this? Oh, I think maybe he can. Okay, okay, quit using that whistle. I'll tell you where Melvin is. The first bathroom stall is in this attic. Now leave me alone. 
Oh, I could have used the whistle on him instead of um, paying him. Because I did use up a lot of my quarters. God, if that was like a secret ending, like a secret path or something. Oh, man, I'm going to be kind of bummed out. How about this pencil? This is perfect. Now I can look sad with a sad pencil. Now that I've de dedicated my life to fighting the system, I have no need for fun or hobbies anymore. Here's my old bug catching net. Goodbye, fun life. Hello, radical organization. All right, so we gave her a pen. I didn't think that would work. I was just, I, I just tried it anyway. Sometimes I do. I just try things. Made of strong, specifically erosion-resistant silk. Erosion-resistant? Is there like a, a pool or something that I can like shove it into? What if we go back to the forest, like all the way back over here? Is there something over here now? Can I catch something? No, <laughs> maybe not. Can I, erosion resistant? Erosion resistant? Am I supposed to use that to fish something out of the, maybe the trash? What am I supposed to do with, I didn't need a net. I needed someone to open up my, my, my game. <laughs> That's what I needed. Am I sure I can't get you to open this for me? No, I guess not. Can I get you to open this for me? No. Can I get you to open this for me? No. Can I get you to open this for me? No. Man, what a bummer. I, I am enjoying this, though. What a good game. You got anything else for me? I have nothing for you. Uh, I have much idling to catch up on, so I'd appreciate being left alone. I'm quite busy brooding and scheming in the dark here. Don't bother me until you've taken care of Melvin. Okay, fine. Such is life. Yes, Chief. Is there anything else I can do here? I don't remember what I picked up here. I think I picked up an item and a quarter here at one point in time, but I don't remember now. If you ever get tired of responsibility, perhaps the wonderful world of sports ball is for you. Can you open this for me? I use the for the signature template on the papers maybe combine it with the pen so I can like write a forgery myself as like some sort of proof of concept I'm guessing no oh, wait can I use the signature template on the sick notes I know that doesn't like make sense but it's like it's got holes in like as a guide or whatever so I didn't know if maybe it would also reveal a secret message or something I know that's not what it's trying to say it's doing but Oh, it's hot liquid now. Wait, 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 wait. Liquid? We got hot liquid. Hold up. I got I got the net. Does that not work? Okay, a couple things happened uh, off camera. Um, I'm playing this in my browser, and I goofed up and refreshed my browser by mistake. So I had to start the game over. <laughs> so I do have my 12 coins back, because you can, in fact, use the whistle on the, uh, the what, what's his face? The kid that with the information. You can use your whistle and keep your coins. So I did that. All right, and then I wandered around some more and I was stuck. <laughs> I was very stuck and um, I was trying to use this because it's erosion resistant and this is supposed to be like look it like melts steel or what it melts through almost everything Really makes you wonder what the hot dogs are made out of I need in this packaging Could I melt it the packaging eroded away look at that I didn't look that up. Sh shut up. Shut up. I wasn't stuck on this exact puzzle for like 10 minutes and gave up. Shut up. I didn't I didn't look it up. You can prove nothing <laughs> with the toy. I can see a small battery at the bottom of the pot though, but there's no way I'm putting my hand in that. We don't need to. I have the net. I was I was close. I got to the part where I was trying to use the net on this. I just didn't know why. 
The net sizzles when it touches the liquid. It begins to fall apart. I pull the battery out, but the net melts away into the Mac. At least the battery is compatible with any audio recorder. Chef Sheffy gives me a stern look, but doesn't lift a finger to stop me from throwing random objects in the mystery Mac. Now I've got my battery. I was pretty stuck here. I don't know how to combine these things. Honestly, I don't know if I have to. Maybe I can... Maybe that's it. Maybe I can just go to Melvin now. I didn't look up anything. I mean, I didn't look up anything at all. But I definitely didn't look up anything past the battery situation. Didn't do it. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, where's the bathroom at? Uh, did I walk right by it? I sure did. All right, I've got this stuff. Confront, yeah, confront Melvin in the bathroom. I can hear Melvin breathing behind the stall door. I think I'm ready for the confrontation. Knock on the door. I, I wanted it to say knock down the door. I knock on the door three times. It slowly creaks open. Melvin? Well, you look just like me. Listen, yellow jacket, I don't have time to be wasted with the likes of you. I happen to be very unwell right now. Um, what are you up to in a bathroom stall for an hour then? No, he's just going to say he's been sick in the bathroom stall. I know what you're up to, Melvin. Yeah. Up to what? I've been doing nothing wrong. As a sick individual with the proper paperwork, I'm untouchable, hall monitor. No use trying to hassle me. I've got nothing to hide. Should have hid this signature template better. N no, that can't be. How did you find my template? It should have been in my locker. Oh, I get it now. You're just jealous. Jealous! You got lucky being selected to be a home monitor, but I, I'm smart. I worked to get out of P.E. I rose above you, and you couldn't stand it. And now I'm ruined. Completely ruined. Melvin fell into a fit of crying soon after. Streaks poured down Melvin's face with each tear soaked in by the gathering crowd. Each student reveled in this low life's misery chanting as Melvin was rounded up by hall monitors and dragged to detention. As for, as for me, I took more enjoyment in a job well done. A criminal in detention, multiple people helped, and minimal property damage. School would be safe for the coming week, and I was to thank for. We did it! We won! We beat the game! I kind of feel bad for Melvin. Uh, when I was in school, uh, I was in PE my freshman and sophomore year, but my junior and senior year, I got out of it through a combination of technically I was in sports um uh like I think I think the I think we counted uh scholastic bowl as a sport and I was on the golf team my senior year so I was in a couple of pretty low energy uh sports but also at the same time I got an academic uh, waiver come senior year because I was taking college classes as a senior so I mean Melvin just survive PE for a couple years and see if you can get waved out later. That's that's how I did it. Also, I wasn't taking any study hall. I was taking only classes. That helped. I, I was talking to my counselor. And I'm like, hey, listen, I just don't really want to take study hall, hall or PE. I'd just rather take more classes. Can we make that happen? And because I wasn't taking study hall and because I was in sports and because I was taking advanced classes, he's like, yeah, we can get you out of PE. That's what I did. I didn't hate PE. I was in physical fit PE. We had two kinds of PE. We had physical fit PE and we had something else. The guys always joked it was girls PE because it wasn't the weight room PE. The one that I was in, you hit the weight room, did a bunch of running. Like it was more like geared toward like really working out. And the other one was like for um, like playing like games and stuff, just kind of doing something with your body. I don't remember what it was actually called. I just know that growing up, that's what the physical fit guys called it was the girls PE. A little sexist. Yeah, but that's that. That's story time with Mo, and how I also got out of PE. I never faked any uh, sick notes though. That was PE Noir. Fun game. I enjoyed that. Um, like I said, I played it in the browser, but you can also download it. There's a link in the description. Share it with your friends. It's a pretty cool game. That's all that I have for you guys. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. And until next time.